What's up guys, as many of you know, my name's Waydot, and I've been playing RuneScape as well as OSRS for about 15 years now. But to be honest, I haven't really touched the main game, or RuneScape 3 as it's called, basically since 2013-ish, or around when Old School was released. I've logged in a few times here and there just to check it out, and wow, there's a lot of new things, a lot of changes, but honestly, every time I hear about RS3, I get this growing curiosity. From what I can see, the game looks absolutely stunning now. In its own RuneScape charm kind of way. So, I want to make an Iron Man and set out to see what RS3 really has to offer. I know that people like to take sides on the war between the two games, but I know a lot of people who play both versions and the sentiment seems to remain the same. They are both good games, but they are different games. RS3 prides itself on being a bit less grindy, with a much more engaging and involved PVM scene. And that sounds interesting to me, and like, something I would love to jump into. Now, I'm gonna ask for a little patience from any of the older RS3 vets that may be watching this. I'm gonna be jumping in basically completely blind. I don't know anything about the new skills. I kind of have an idea of what divination is, so that'll let you know how far back it's been since I played. But anyway, I'm excited to jump right into this. If I end up enjoying the game, I'm gonna be doing a complete Iron Man series for RS3 as well as OSRS. My old school account is starting to get to the point where I'm gonna have a lot of big grinds, just due to the nature of the restrictions I set. So I see myself having a lot more free time to try something new. I'm excited, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're in. Um, I've already made this guy a member. Um, we need to make sure that we select Iron Man mode. Show off your Iron Man badge. <laughs> Proudly. Okay, that's set. Next up, I want to RS3-ify my OSRS character. As you guys know, he's a bit of an edgy e-boy, so we're going to try and replicate that look in RS3 and see how close we can get. I'll get back to you guys with uh, what we're working with. Alright, well this looks like Waydot if I ever saw him in RS3 with, you know, a higher pixel count and just an overall cleaner look. Uh, this is the closest I could kind of get to his uh, all-black clothing. And of course, they still have this crazy beard option, which I absolutely adore. But yeah, here we are. This will be our RS3 version of Waydot. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. Okay, well, I was in Tutorial Island, which was kind of cool. I thought they had gotten rid of that a while ago. Um, but I pressed that I had played recently because I was trying to avoid most of the tutorial stuff. I'm sure it would be helpful, but like I said, I kind of want to go into this blind. And I have played RuneScape for 15 years, so I'm sure, you know, I can probably figure out most things. Um... <laughs> But yeah, it took me straight to Birthorp, um, which isn't surprising to me. I'm pretty sure this was kind of the starting zone the last time I ever played this. But uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, the game looks amazing, I will say. We had a little cutscene coming here into Birthorp, and uh, that was awesome. I'm probably going to reorganize my user interface here and try and get everything a bit cleaner. Um, but first off, I got to talk to Turiel, who was just standing out in the open. And I must say, this looks like... Nothing like Birthorp from OSRS, but it does look really nice, so... Alright, let's get going. Okay, so I've kind of cleaned up my UI a bit, as well as uh, fixed the aspect ratio so that we're not dealing with uh, those kind of borders I had going on the side. Um, but I think for now I'm just going to follow these arrows and kind of do whatever the game wants me to do. Okay, so the first awesome thing that I'm seeing here is that you don't need tools in your inventory. Um, I believe you just have them, or they're on a tool belt, um, if that's right. I'm not 100% sure, but, like, I am fishing lobsters? No, crayfish, okay. Low-level lobsters, I betcha. And we already got a fishing level, okay? That was quick. Okay, another thing I've noticed, I'm gaining cooking levels, and it's not interrupting my cooking. So your guy just gets levels, and you don't have to click again. That's actually amazing. It's the smallest little thing, but that is so cool. All right, well, I finished up whatever Turiel wanted me to do, uh, fish and cook and show off my survival skills, so I guess I'm supposed to go in this mine now. Maybe we can uh, check out combat. Nope, we're going to mine this rock. It, didn't they have a mining and smithing update, so mining's like way different now? I noticed I just got a critical swing there. Didn't realize you could have critical hits on inanimate objects, but that's kind of cool. It does make sense. I have this bar above my head. Okay, so I think every time this bar fills up, I get a critical swing. Why is this one glowing? 
I'm going to mine this one as well, just because it's glowing. I feel like that's... Oh, times four. That's got to be good. Huh, and this one's a lot bigger than this one. This is so interesting. I'm definitely super excited to delve into the mining and smithing side and see what kind of changes have happened. I'm kind of just gaining levels so fast that it feels a little pointless to update you on every single one of them. But uh, I realize I got way too much copper for how much tin I have in my inventory, if that still works the same. Wow, this interface is kind of crazy. Left click this button to deposit the tin and copper ore into your metal bank. So you can just keep saving up ores in here and then you can smith them into bars. That is such a cool idea. And then you can make stuff. That is so cool. What the hell? Wow, it's very involved, I must say. Look at the bar in my inventory. It's an unfinished smithing item. I'm sorry, I'm sure this is like normal to anybody who plays RS3 and you're probably just laughing at me, but this is so interesting to me. It's so cool. That's quality metalwork. I made a bronze full helm. There we go. Hey, it kind of looks like the uh, Helm of Raidwald, that uh, Clue Hunter outfit from old school. Huh. I'm ready. I want to fight these trolls. All right, we're uh, ready to go fight some trolls, I guess. Now, I'm not completely new to combat bars. I've played my fair share of World of Warcraft and uh, Final Fantasy and ESO and many, many others. Ooh, I got a cloak. Okay, loot all. Hello. Loot all button. That is fantastic. I guess I can bury these bones. Does that work the same? Sure does. We got ourselves a cape. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and kill the next one. I believe I need to kill five, so this should be my last one. If I just leave the loot on the ground, does it then pile up into here? Wow. Rabbit sandwich. Okay. Add some. Take the bones. I don't think I need the bronze arrows right now. Huh. Why am I healing? I don't know. I'm clearly very new to this, guys. <laughs> Alright, Turiel, I killed those trolls. Was that a Slayer task? Did I get Slayer XP for that? No, I didn't. Maybe you get Slayer XP when you hand it in. I don't know. I'm ready to move on. Okay, we got an attack level. Revolution, otherwise known as uh, Global uh, Cooldown, it seems like. Find the full suite of your abilities and these abilities. Yes, I figured so. So you have attack abilities and strength ability. Focus your remaining adrenaline to heal yourself. Yeah, that's going on the action bar. Some survivability. Strike the target with the back of the hand. Well, you just slap them, eh? That's kind of funny. What the hell? What? This man is huge. How am I supposed to beat this guy? He's level 10. Holy shit. This guy's strong. Maybe I should have made that full set of armor. I probably would have, uh, fared a little better here. I really don't want to die in the first fight of the game. Holy crap, that was tough. Did I bury his bones, or is that a waste? I'm gonna do it. You guys laugh at me for doing this. I don't care that much. Woo! Look at that. Level 3 prayer. Not too shabby. And it looks like this bronze mace is... Whoa, I'm dual wielding a dagger and a mace! What? Okay, this game is awesome. So I'm finished with everything Toriel kind of wanted me to do. I also uh, grabbed a few bank boosters because I guess bank space is something you can kind of get more of uh, through membership and whatnot. I'm not sure. It seems a little convoluted. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but I have like 150 spaces now. Um, but I think I'm just going to go explore a bit and uh, kind of figure out what we want to do. Obviously, it's RuneScape, right? So I need to get questing. And also, this system seems super cool. Apparently, once you go to these lodestones and activate them, you can just teleport there wherever you'd like. So I think I might head down south and go to Taverly, just because that one's pretty close. So, Also, as I'm sure you can tell, the UI is super customizable, um, so I'm kind of just playing around with some ideas here. Uh, whenever I see people play this game, they have like tons of different menus open and all kinds of things they need, maybe for PVM and whatnot. But I think I'm just going to kind of find what works for me and we'll stick with that, at least uh, in the beginning. So I just activate this lodestone. Okay, achievement. Kind of cool. Get a little cutscene. And now if I open up this menu, I can teleport. And hey, we got the OG uh, home teleport animation. Okay, well that's awesome. Uh, I don't want to go back to Berthorpe. I think I'm going to 
see if there's any quests I can do around here or something. But uh, cool. Okay, so I just found the activity tracker. Um, and there was like a few different paths I could choose. I could do uh, this one here, which is uh, getting some bronze arrows. And it's called bow and arrow. So I assume it's going to kind of like help me and show me how to get back into ranging. Um, so maybe I'm just going to do a few of these uh, just to kind of reacclimate myself with this game and, you know, get some starter gear and whatnot. It's weird, the lines between Taverly and Berthorpe are like super blurred in this game. I feel like they're a lot farther away from each other in old school. Like this is the druid circle here, I'm assuming. And you can literally see Berthorpe all the way over there and Taverly here. And also there's a flax field here, which is uh, interesting. All right, so I'm making myself a short bow. Actually, I'm gonna make six of them because I got six flax, so I cut six logs. But there we go, that's gonna be our first uh, ranging weapon, I guess. And some fletching XP. Cool. Okay, so that path of the bow and arrow is now completed. And now I can start Way of the Ranger. I want to shoot something with my new bow. absolutely. freaking lootly And sorry if this tutorial stuff is kind of boring, guys, but this is gonna help me just kind of get back into the game a bit. I mean, obviously it's RuneScape, but wow. Finished up the little range section, now we're on to magic. And it looks like I'm gonna make this magic wand? We're really in uh, Harry Potter now. Alright, cool. Craft your own wand. Learn the art of magic combat and complete your first slayer task. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, this has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Watch what happens when I actually kill this guy. Like I rip out his heart. I didn't know we were playing Mortal Kombat. That's amazing. Okay, so now it seems like I've kind of finished up in Berthorp. Uh, it's asking me to go to Lumbridge next, which is uh, a little more my speed when it comes to beginning RuneScape. But I did just want to mention that this is the most beginner, new to RuneScape 3 looking new bank I have ever seen. Just the most random assortment of items here. I'm excited to get going, guys. I'm already feeling a little bit more at home. This is a bit more familiar to me. Dwarven Army Axe. Is this for fighting or for chopping? Plus 3 XP when mining copper and tin, crafting soft leather and clay. Oh, okay, cool. So it's an all-around tool. It's a freaking Swiss army knife. It's called a Dwarven Army Axe. Oh, I get it now. It's a play on it. I get it. That's hilarious. So it appears that Cook's Assistant still exists. This is a quest that I uh, currently don't have finished on my Iron Man on Old School RuneScape. But uh, on RS3? I think it's going to be my first quest because we're going back to the original game. And this was the first quest I ever did on this game. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a go. Alrighty, well that quest was a little different, but uh, generally the same idea. It gives me 20 sardines as a reward. Huh, that's crazy to me. Alright, well I will take it I guess. And we got a uh, cooking level 7, so not too shabby. I think next up is the Restless Ghost. Okay, so that's the Restless Ghost. It's kind of odd. It's like um, every single quest is just slightly different. Like they're the same idea generally, but just a little bit different. I guess we got these uh, bones and they're good prayer XP. So let's see what level we get to. Level 9 prayer, okay. We can use up to Mystic Will. Cool. Apparently you get a double reward when you go and talk to this guy. The father. Oh, and they, they last longer. Gotcha. Alright, well, I'll set this one active since I can afford it. So it's pretty awesome. You can kind of sort the quests by ones that are recommended and you can actually complete them. Um, but right now I want to do this Blood Pact one because it's right beside us. And it gives us a bunch of uh, XP and some combat skills, which will be nice. So let's go ahead and do this one. I just realized, like, I'm training attack, but I have no idea how to switch it to strength. But anyway, we got this guy down at least. Am I gonna kill him? Just give me your stuff? No, let's kill him. I'm a murderous bastard. The pity you had to kill that man. Nah, not really. Oh, I get his bow. Look at that. Okay, sweet. I bet you I need to use a bow to kill the next guy. Am I right about that? Oh, it automatically switched my bar for me. That is so cool. It just knows what weapon you have equipped and then switches. That's a huge help. See, like, why'd I get a defense level there? 
I have no idea how to change my attack styles. I'm gonna need to look into that. Yep. Catch you later. See ya. Oh, I think with Caitlyn's staff, I don't need runes. That's why. Gotcha. Alright, well, time for you to die. Later, buckle. I'm ready for my reward, obviously. Awesome. There we go. So we get XP lamps for all that, and we get to keep all the weapons. And Caitlyn's staff requires no air runes. Oh, and the bow requires no arrows. That is awesome. Alrighty. Sweet. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and use this XP lamp, and we'll see if we get any levels here. Nice, we got a level in basically everything. I'll take it. Alright, well there's Sheep Shear completed. Once again, just a little bit different. Also on here it's called a mini quest, but it still shows up with a quest kind of reward screen, so... Uh, turns out we got four crafting from that, so not bad. Let's see what we're doing next. Looks like next up it says we should do Demon Slayer. I'm down. So I just got the Varrock Lodestone, but I want to say I'm kind of happy with how they've kept Varrock. It looks uh, very true to itself, like very true to its roots. This does not look too much different from the old school RuneScape version of Varrock. Like this tent is all the same weird kind of colors. And if you take a look over here, these are just like kind of some lower textures, um, lower quality. And I don't mind that. I I'm okay with them keeping some parts of the game, you know, true to its roots. Okay, well, scratch everything I just said about staying true to the roots. Believe it or not, this is Demon Slayer. And also, I started this quest in the church in Varrock instead of in the gypsy's tent. And is that Silverlight in the middle there? Like, are we even using the same sword? What is going on here? Okay, I found out uh, how to change the XP that I'm receiving for each uh, skill. Kind of uh, difficult to find, kind of weird. They have to go about it this way, uh, I will say. But it looks like it's kind of cool because you can split your XP between all three. Um, you can split it between, you know, just strength and attack or just strength and defense. And same goes for ranged and magic. And you can actually block certain types of XP. Um, so that's actually super cool that you can do all that. And it doesn't matter what weapon you're using or anything, but still it was difficult to find this. Uh, and there should be a better way they go about explaining this or showing new players that like, hey, you can actually control this kind of thing. Alright, well I won't lie, Silverlight looks a lot cooler on uh, RS3 here. I can't believe how different Demon Slayer is. This quest is just completely redone. Oh my god, what? Am I gonna die? Well, I'm supposed to stand in his uh, dome when he does that thing. Jeez, there's actual mechanics in combat? What do I do? <laughs> I was not expecting to use my brain this much in order to finish Demon Slayer. You suck, Delrith. Boom. There we go. There we have it. That's Demon Slayer done. We got a few things here. We got a, a Vernic Wand and Book. I assume that's some good magic stuff. We got the Holy Sword and Silverlight. And we got some combat XP lamps. So, not bad. Okay, so yeah, the Avernic Wand and Book. I think you can kind of like dual wield these as well. Uh, that's probably my best uh, option for magic at the moment. And then Silverlight is actually a bit of an upgrade over this uh, Reese's Sword, I think. They're both the same speed, the same accuracy, it just does more damage, so. As for these uh, XP lamps, I think I'm going to throw all of them into Strength. I am assuming that your Strength level correlates with how much damage you do, the same way it does in Old School RuneScape. But if I'm wrong about that, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I've messed up horribly. 300 whole experience worth. Uh, but we just got level 7 strength, and that took us to combat level 9. Well, that's a wrap. OSRS player tries RuneScape 3 and loves it, by the way. This is going to be a long series, and I'm so excited to get it started. Don't worry, this won't be replacing any of my old school content. I can work on two things at the same time, despite whatever you may think of me. <laughs> But anyway, I'm really enjoying everything I'm seeing from RuneScape 3 so far. This game has come such a long way and I'm super excited to delve into it deeper and really start to learn and understand everything. I'm also excited to get to the end game and begin doing some of these insane looking boss fights. I've got a lot to learn and a lot to do, so this is just the beginning. But if you guys did enjoy, please feel free to like and subscribe as it helps a ton and you'll always know when a progress video drops. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.